plaintiff, Beth Worley, met the defendant at a bar, and she claims the night they met, he said he loved her. Beth ended up dating the defendant off and on for six years, and they have a child together. But their relationship ended because the defendant was a combative, jealous drunk. She's suing her ex for an unpaid loan. Defendant Chris Hollis says the reason he didn't trust Beth was because he once caught her with another man in her home. Chris admits that Beth gave him money, but he insists the money was a gift. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, um, me and Mr. Hollis have been on and off for about six years. Uh, we have a child How together. How did you pull that off? <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry, forgive me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Go ahead, Val. Uh, we have a child together. Uh, we met at a bar. Um, oh, I understand now. You, <laughs> <laughs> you were drunk. No, go ahead. Well, um, now, how old are you? I'm 27. You look significantly younger than him, but clearly cuter. We, how old are you? I, I'm 53, Your Honor. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm asking. Y'all think I'm asking for some other reason. That's, I, there's a distinct difference, I could tell, in age. And Go ahead. Well, um, the age difference got brought up, so I don't have to really explain that. Um, we was at the bar, and that night he told me, oh, I love you, I want to be with you, I, I don't, I don't want to sleep with you tonight, I just want to hold you, you're the girl of my dreams. So, you know. And what happened? Well, I let him spend the night. She chose me, Your Honor. That first night? Yeah. What town you in? <laughs> we didn't do anything. We didn't, we didn't sleep together uh, like that. That's close enough. On the first night, what town are you from? <laughs> <laughs> you think there any more left around? <laughs> there any more hanging around like that? <laughs> All right. I'll send my single friends. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Don't, don't get the wrong impression. OK. OK, go ahead. Well, but um, a relationship ensued. Yes. All right. So it wasn't like you uh, made the wrong choice that night. Sounds like you made right. the right choice for at least six years. Right. How right. was it those six years? Well, Your Honor, it's been really rough. Um, he likes to drink. Uh, he drinks from the time that he wakes up to the time he goes to bed. Oh, I don't. I mean, <laughs> yes, he does, sir. If that's Your true, Honor. that's called an yes, alcoholic. He does. Go ahead. Exactly. Huh. Um, and he gets really combative when he's drunk, you know. We argue constantly. Everything I do, he thinks that I'm doing something wrong. Uh, he's always thinking I'm cheating. He's very jealous. Very jealous. Um, we had a D.L. Hughley show, <laughs> and um, there was an after party. Well, I, don't, I, 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 I was having a twerking contest. With who? <laughs> With him? Your they, Honor, no. it wasn't like that. Was she twerking with you? No. That was the whole catch to it, Your Honor. That's why I be saying I get jealous. It wasn't like that. It was, there was several girls, and I had a couple drinks in me, so they were having a contest for money. Oh. They were, there was judges, you know, they have to watch and ju you judge You were just who, shaking it. Yeah, I was just right. shaking it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and men were watching you right. shake it. Yes. Right, right Your Honor. But it was all in good, well, it was a contest. Yes, it was money involved. There was like $200, okay. you know, that I, you could have won if you won the contest. Okay, like at the strip club when you get money. I, right. Well, I mean, I'm not promiscuous like that, no. Why are you calling me? Because, exotic I mean, a strip club is, I mean, that's a little, I, I, They do, I, they twerk for money. But Your Honor, but Your Honor, she, she goes, I'm gonna get a beer. I turns around, this guy's all dancing around. I don't know what she's doing. I ain't know what twerk was. She out there is twerking away. I tell the dude, she does that to all the guys. Get off the floor. Yeah, he's 53. He does, he's way out of touch with yeah. twerking. <laughs> you don't know I, what that is. I know what twerking is now. I mean, she didn't tell you me it was a contest. He see his woman bending over, poke, but you know, gyrating her behind. We were about to win $200. I was winning. I didn't Pardon? Know. I was winning. Go ahead, and he sir. <laughs> He gets jealous, and what happens? He came and grabbed me off the floor, and we got into a big argument. Uh, I mean, it was it was just awful. I mean, Your Honor, this you is sound not... You like you were really trying to show yourself. Your Honor, this is not like... In the company of other men. Show yourself in a sexual manner. Absolutely. I guess, yes. Yeah. But I wasn't really looking at it that way, but I'm not that type of female. I've never cheated on him. What if he did? What if he get out there... 
got him a little jock strap on, <laughs> and started just doing it in front of all the women. Absolutely. I mean, I would be, hey, okay, baby. You know, but what about all the women? And what about all the women? If they I know start... he's coming home with me, so I wouldn't worry about it. So you about wouldn't it. mind? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. All right. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go to do it. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. You give me some background. Oh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, you're one of my idols. I, I watch you every day. I no, mean, every you. single day at 11 o'clock where we come from. I mean, I love your demeanor. I love how you carry yourself. Thank you. And, uh, I had a rough life growing up. You know, my mom raised five boys. I mean, uh, I was from Risk before I met her. Where are you from? I'm from Alliance, but I moved to L.A. and Seattle when I was Alliance young. Alliance what? Ohio. And by Canton? the way, Canton, Ohio. And those are some crazy people. And she's twerking, and these guys looking around wanting to kill me, and like, man, I'm telling you, she does this to all the guys get her. And they were ready to fight me. It wasn't just that. So I pulls her off the floor, and that was one of the incidents. Sir? Now, Your Honor, I get drunk one night. I don't come home. Seven in the morning, I goes to the door. Door's locked. So I go to the door. I say, oh, somebody's in there. So I goes around and start throwing little rocks up at the window, you know, like Romeo Juliet thing, make her come outside. <laughs> she, she looks out the window, so she don't come. So I keep on throwing rocks, keep on throwing rocks. So she finally comes down to the door. I'm figuring there's a guy in there. So she lets the door open a little bit. I ease on through her. So I go all through the house, walk all, go upstairs. When I go upstairs, it's a guy behind the door like this. <laughs> your honor, your honor. I look no. I said, your honor, no. In your home and the place that home. you all shared together. Dude, I have my own no. home on the other side of town. Oh. I was That's just going to visit. True. But the door is locked. It's never locked. That's not true. That's not how it happened. You go ahead and tell me that part because he's really making you look bad. Now. Okay, the night. Okay, no, the night that that happened. Okay. You can ask him where he was. He was out with another girl that lived right behind me mm -hmm. sleeping with her. Mm -hmm. He didn't come home the whole night. Mm -hmm. He was sleeping around with, on Got me. That. What about you? Well, the guy that was spent the night, he stayed on the couch. Me, a couple of my girlfriends came over and they had brought him with them. And uh, he had court the next day. So um, he slept on the couch. Mm -hmm. um, when Chris the was- The girls left? Y yes. So it was only the two of them? Yes. Um, my you came over with two ladies. The ladies left, so it was just the two of them. Yes. Right. Well, uh, um... And you wonder why he's jealous? <laughs> Got it. What are you suing him for, ma'am? Um, okay, well, we're not together anymore, mm -hmm. as you know. Um, I got my income tax this year. <clears throat> and, um, at the time, we was together. And he asked me, baby, I need a loan. I need a loan really bad. I said, for what? He said, I want to get a vehicle. So I was, I agreed, you know, I mm -hmm. said, okay. I said, but you're going to have to pay me back because my income tax was only like $3,200. Mm -hmm. So, but I have a job. So, you know, I have money coming in. I said, so I'm going to need you to pay me this back when you get this vehicle. So he said, okay, baby, I promise you, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go get this car today and I, I'm, I'm going to be rolling and I, I appreciate it. I said, okay. So, you know, Guess what, Your Honor? He took off for three days, no vehicle, and I still haven't received a penny from the loan that he got. Sir? That was a gift, Your Honor. I mean... <laughs> she never mentioned loan to you? <laughs> no, Your Honor. It was a gift. It was... Gift for what? To buy a car. Oh, and okay. then my child support kicked in, and I couldn't get the car. You told her it was for a car? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right, did you offer her money back when you found out you couldn't get a car? Well, at the time, I got mad, Your Honor, because she pulled another move on me, Your Honor. What's that? Well, on my birthday, I goes to her, I goes to her house. She's, you know, we out partying. She don't give me a birthday present, so we go to her house. It's 3 or 4 in the morning. I hear this big boom. The door gets kicked in. There's six or seven people going through our house, and I goes down and I escorts them out the house. One of them mace me and all this and that. I'm thinking these people ain't just came to the house and kicked your door in for nothing. You you must be messing with one of me or something. That's the reason these girls are at your house. So I even I have the evidence and everything. What proof. happened? What what they, was what did you find out the reason was? Well, they said that she had took a purse from the bar, and 
But they arrested me, though, for disorderly conduct in her home. I and had nothing to I do with proof. this. Sir, I don't know what you had on your mind. This young lady, you're twice her age. And she chose me. And this is whatever. You keep saying, she chose me. Now she's suing you. Now she's suing you. I hope you know that part, too. All this bragging. You got locked up. Now you're getting sued by her. But as the point I was making, you are totally detached from what this generation is doing. You don't even know anything about twerking. And so all, for all you guys who want a young lady that's half your age, you need to understand they into a totally different thing and have a totally different mindset. And so don't you be surprised at anything that she might do. You're broken up now, but if you resume, you shouldn't be surprised at anything because this generation is a lot different than your generation. Things that you've never seen they're doing. You say, that's why you refuse to repay because she got you in trouble. You wow. were mad. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay, and you also said that it was a gift. And the reason you didn't go back and say to her, do you want your money back because I can't get a car is because you were mad. Well, first of all, let's deal with the first part. You defrauded her. You defrauded her by telling her you wanted $2,750 to buy a car. Instead of buying the car, you went and paid child support for some other woman. I don't know if she would have given you money to pay some other woman or not. I doubt it. <laughs> Secondly, you had you gone back to her and said, I can't get the car, but can I keep the money to pay child support? Then you would not have defrauded her. And it would have been up to her to say, yeah, you can keep that gift for that purpose. <laughs> He does that all the time, though, Your Honor. Yeah, well, you He's go for it all me. the time. He's I don't know what he got going. I don't understand this situation. $2,750. Let me get out of here. Your Honor. I don't care. I don't care. That's what I told you. Don't be mad, because I don't want you. Don't be mad. Ever, man. Don't be mad. I don't want you no more, either. That's what I still can get money. You chose me. Don't worry about that, baby. You sent somebody over to talk to me. I didn't come over to talking to you. Whatever. You was the one lusting over me, telling me how much you love me and stuff. It ain't my problem. Don't oh, be mad. Wow. I, I mean, I still love you. Don't come up. I still love you too. We have a child together, but we're still never gonna be together again.